Uh, I bought this thing a few weeks ago, and I've noticed that there still isn't a single review on it. So, the first one they sent me was broken, and so they sent me a new one again a few days later. And this is the one they sent, and this one actually works. For, I'm going to talk about the good things and the bad things about this laptop. It has a few very nice features, and a few I really don't like. There's a few things that are quite wrong with it. First of all, I'm going to start with the design. I really like, I really like what they did with the design. The little lines, you can actually feel them. And it doesn't leave, no, it doesn't leave any fingerprints, as you can see. None that I can see. The same thing with the, with the cover. Okay, so this is, there we go, this shows one of the annoying things. First of all, if you just put the cover down a little bit, it it um, puts into it puts it into sleep mode right away, and it's not even closed. It's kind of annoying. Same design on the cover. There's these lines, and you can actually feel them. That's the design. Um, it's a very attractive design. It looks very thin. And that's the battery. And the battery. Oh, let me get this. If you press, there's a button, and it shows you how charged it is. Alright, I have a mouse with it, because the the trackpad actually is kind of, it's not bad. People have been saying that the trackpad is not responsive, but it's actually, it's actually pretty good. To zoom in, you go like this. There you go, it zooms in. I've heard people t talking that it doesn't work, but mine works. And to scroll down, this time it's not working. It, it, wants, it works basically when it wants to work. Um, you have to click probably on the web page and now. Yep, now it scrolls. You have to just click on the web page. You have to use two fingers, but the, the uh, it's weird. If you have two fingers like this, if your two fingers are touching, then it's not gonna scroll. It's kind of really annoying. You have to have your fingers far apart for it to scroll. And for zooming in, same thing. You have to start with your fingers apart, and then it's gonna work. So basically, if you want to use the multi-touch, you have to have your fingers far apart for it to work. First of all, let me show you the system score. It has a 5.9, which actually is pretty good. Uh, the graphics are really good, 6.7. The memory is really good. It's DDR3. It has two sticks of RAM in there, each 2 gig. Processor is pretty good, 6.2, and the disk transfer rate is 5.9, which is also pretty good. So that's the score, which is actually pretty good for the price, especially. Now... This is what the test manager looks like. You can see the three cores are being used by the Windows 7 64-bit that comes with, the, with this computer. And I'm not sure why it's using so much memory. Uh, this is CPU Z. I don't know if this makes sense to you. Check it out. It has a really good graphics card. You can basically play any game that you want, at least on low settings. You can play Crisis on low settings, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but every game I've tried runs really well on at least medium settings. The video card isn't going to be the thing that, that's the bottleneck. The processor is below the graphics card in terms of power. So if you get bad frame rates in a game, it's probably because of the processor, not the graphics card. And as you can see, the screen is really glossy. You can actually see my face there in the reflection. Uh, this goes into the thing I don't like is the screen. I really don't like the screen. It's extremely glossy, and the view angles are really bad. Here it's okay, but if you look from another direction, bam, it's horrible. It's completely black. Just a little bit this way from the side. It's actually, it's it's much darker from the side. And it, when you're watching a movie, as you can see, like, see the top of the screen? It gets black. Just if you, if you turn it a little bit that way, just a little bit, it turns black. The viewing angles are really bad on the screen. And what's worse is that it's probably just my computer, but I got... Do you see that? Yep, yeah, that green pixel right there. That is a stuck pixel. It's not a dead pixel, but... Basically, you can't, it doesn't come off, so it is a dead pixel. And if, see, it's still there. So, yeah, this basically HP used a really cheap screen on this laptop. Bad viewing angles, extremely glossy, and basically stuck pixels. I tried using the, I tried using software. That remove that supposedly removes most stuck pixels, but it has not worked, and that stuck pixel is still there, and it's so annoying. But it is a very big, beautiful screen, though. 
No, but that, 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 that pixel was really bothering me. But the good thing about this computer is that the screen is huge. The laptop itself is huge. I mean, I have to go really far away from the computer to actually get it all in the shot. Uh, it's a very big laptop. And it's actually not heavy. It's, I can pick it up with one hand without much of a problem. Um, okay, the negative things. It has, okay, this is really bothering me. This is a gaming laptop. Well, I mean, it doesn't say it, but it's basically a gaming laptop since it has such a good graphics card. But the arrow keys are absolutely horrible. I mean, if you're playing a game that requires you to use the arrow keys, these will drive you freaking insane. I mean, I mean, this is, I'm always accidentally pressing this when it's supposed to be this. And I'm like, come on, why isn't it, oh damn it. These are so close together and these two are so small. These things will drive you insane. Unless in the game you have the option to switch to the WASD keys, which are normal, you're pretty much screwed. I mean, unless you can get used to those. I, I've used this for a few weeks and I still cannot get used to these keys. They're just horrible. I mean, just dreadful. And, yeah. Okay, what other thing? Weird arrow keys. Oh, and no backlit keyboard. You're going to be spending $1,000 on this, but it doesn't have a backlit keyboard like all the other new computers do. Well, most other computers do have a light up keyboard, especially the 17 inch, usually have a backlit keyboard. This thing is a little disappointing. If you're going to be gaming or doing anything at night, then you can't see your keys. <sighs> okay, there's more negatives, and I'm going to talk about the positives. Um, let's see, hard to click touchpad buttons. Yeah, that's the one thing that, this is fine for moving, but if you're going to use these keys, I mean, you have to be Superman to move something by using these keys because you really have to press down on this and on this to actually uh, let me zoom back I mean see if, if I just you can tell that you can hear it if I use a lot of force it still it does not click you have to really push on it for it to click the, the, I mean freaking why are these buttons so hard to press you can actually you can see the computer moving if I want to press, ah, that's not a point, is it? Because you're going to be probably using a mouse like this for gaming anyway, so why does it matter? Um, let's see. What else? Uh, hard to take out the CD tray. Yeah, just remember. Let me see. Look, the CDs, right, the DVD trays right there. Press it. Nothing. Press it. There we go. Nothing. 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 You can tell I'm using quite a bit of force because the actual laptop is moving. You, you have to get your nail in there like this for it to open. And you have to get your nail in there. This is getting a, like this is going to be a really detailed review. Uh, okay, so I talked about the hard to take out CD tray. Uh, the button is just sucky. Um, sub subwoofer doesn't work. Um, pretty sure it's not just my computer. There's a subwoofer right there. It's upside down. Yeah, let me magic of television. As you can see there, that's a subwoofer. It does not work. I've tried to play so many different types of music from so many different formats, and the subwoofer does not work. And I've tried updating all my drivers to the latest one. Subwoofer still does not work. Maybe they'll come up with an updated an update for it eventually. But there's something wrong with the drivers because the subwoofer does not show up on the driver screen. And a bunch of other people have been having problems with the subwoofer. So basically, subwoofer does not work so far. Um, what else? Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. volume is way too low on this computer. Um, despite this thing having what they call the... First of all, why are there speakers here? It's actually hard to hear. I mean, I'm used to the speakers being here. You can't, like, the sound is actually traveling towards your head. Here, the, the, the sound is basically traveling towards your crotch. Um, and that's not where my ears are. So, it's hard to hear. And it's, it's actually pretty nice sound. If you, if you want to listen to your music like this, or if you're watching a movie like this, but so bad that if you're gonna watch a movie like this, if you're crazy enough, you're not gonna see the screen because it's black. Um, yeah. So the sound sucks. Um, I don't know, I should probably play something. Uh, YouTube. Is this the maximum volume? See? So it's a maximum volume, but as you can tell, like, this thing is not loud at all compared to other models, because you can probably still hear my voice pretty well. Much better. 
here there's gonna be a... I'm gonna skip to the part where the subwoofer would come in, right here. When he, when he switches the boombox to uh, turbo bass, um, it's supposed to make a bassy sound, but there's nothing. So did you see that? When he hit the turbo bass, it was supposed to make a boom sound, but the subwoofer does not work. So, and it's not loud. The computer isn't loud. Okay, it, um, the computer gets pretty hot. Um, when it's on the, you can switch graphics card. It has two graphics cards. One is for gaming and you can switch to the other one to save battery life. Um, when it's on the gaming graphics card, it's really hot. It, this computer gets hot. Um, and the way you switch graphics cards is right here. Configure ATI Power Express. And actually, I wish there was just one button I can hit and it would switch, but there's a couple of things I have to do. Right. As you can see, right now it's using the high performance GPU and I can switch that. I can use the power saving GPU. There's no mouse. Oh, see, and sometimes it, nothing pops up. Sometimes it doesn't let you switch and it doesn't say why. I'm just clicking the button and nothing pops up. You can't switch it. Sometimes it doesn't want to switch. That's just another problem with this is a software problem. It's just that this is a very new computer and I guess it's not updated. Uh, it's updated. I've updated everything, but they should make new updates for it eventually to fix all these issues. Hopefully fix the subwoofer. Hopefully it's not a hardware error, but a software error. So... Okay, another, the last negative that I have is to turn it on, you have to hold this button for quite a long time. Okay, now it's off. Now let me try to turn it on. Usually on a computer, you just press it like this and it turns on, but it doesn't turn on. It's not on. So this doesn't do it. Nothing. It's kind of weird now. I have to hold it. Now it turns on. So... That's pretty much that's pretty much it for the negatives. Otherwise, it's pretty good, but sadly, it does have quite a bit of negatives. I'm gonna show you the positives. I'm gonna tell you about the positives. Well, the only thing that does attract fingerprints is the the screen and this plastic and this plastic part over here. First of all, the first positive I have is that it's a very quiet, very quiet laptop. Even when you're gaming. If you're on the gaming GPU, on the gaming graphics card, it's still going to be very quiet. It's a very quiet laptop. Um, it's very cool when you're not gaming. If you're on the gaming GPU, it's going to get hot. But if you're on the uh, power saving GPU, this laptop is going to be nice and cool. Um, keyboard doesn't bend. Like sometimes other laptops, if you press down hard enough, the keyboard bends in. This thing does not bend. You can install a second hard drive for... 30 bucks. What else? Fast and no lag. That's the best part of this, this computer. It's very fast. The processor is pretty good. So far, there wasn't a single application that ever crashed on me. No, and the operating system is great. No blue screens, nothing. It's just amazing. You can just tell when I click on things that how quickly everything pops up. It's really fast. Really great for watching videos. So this is 1080p. And it's, there's never any lag. It's really great. The battery life is actually really good. I mean, I've played video... Now it's, it's asking me if I want to change the GPU to the um, battery saving. I'm going to do it now. Oh, and I was, talking about, I was talking about the temperature. Right now this thing's at 60 and 60. See, the, there's the burning icon. So it's not good. It's really hot. It gets hot, basically. Um, it should be at like 40 Celsius. 45 Celsius is normal. So this thing gets really hot when you're gaming, or if, you, if you're using the gaming GPU, if you're using the power saving GPU, like I just switched to the power saving, you can see the temperature is going way down. The temperature has already started to go down. But um, the battery is actually really good. Uh, if I've been using, if I'm just on battery, and I'm using the gaming GPU, and I'm playing a game, and this thing is not on power saver mode, if this thing is on high performance mode, like it, uh, like it is now, actually, I, I played a game for three hours. On the, so the battery lasts three hours, gaming so yeah hope you like this review and bye